Hey guys, how's it going? Kapran here. Today I want to review and give you guys some insight on a very successful Druid Arena run I had. It was a 12-0 Druid Arena run, and while, well, yeah, I got like, you know, a dozen 12 zeros in the expansion so far, I didn't need to highlight all of them. A lot of them were with Rogue, to be fair, but uh, I want to highlight one with Druid because on one hand, I think it's actually like maybe even the second time I got 12-0 with Druid. It's, you know, quite rare, even for me. Uh, to do well on a druid. Um, now, I do have a pretty good druid average. I did do a video talking about kind of like the the weird thing that's going on with druid, how it was one of my better classes. You know, my, my druid average is like seven and a half to eight or so. But against druids, I have the best win rate. Druid is my easiest opponent by far. So, you know, I kind of saw the situation as, you know, Druid is an overall pretty balanced class, but whenever you lose the early game, it's almost impossible to catch up because Druid doesn't have very many tempo plays. And on the other hand, Druid is just kind of like a fair class. Uh, and yeah, it's kind of also a class that gets punished really hard because the main win condition for a druid is you go even throughout most of the game and then you play a big minion. If the big minion sticks, you win. If it doesn't stick, you generally lose. It's very difficult as a druid to come back from a situation where you play your first really big minion and it gets removed for a card that costs significantly less mana. So basically, it's very difficult to do very well with Druid, while you can do pretty well on average. I think, you know, with a decent Druid deck, you can probably get five, six, maybe seven wins on average, but it's so rare to go beyond that. So this is the deck that I had yesterday, and it was it was a pretty good one. If you look on the list, there are almost no bad cards in the deck. That helps a lot, because in Druid, if you do have a bad card, you have kind of like that hurdle, and it ends up hurting you a lot, because Druid is a class that wins by incremental advantages and not by huge power plays, in general. Also, this was a bit of an exception in this deck where I had the Jungle Moonkin. The Jungle Moonkin combined with a few spells in the deck uh, made me have a few very big counterplays. And it was kind of weird how, you know, I just had overall very high quality cards and the few cards that are generally ones you don't want, like the Jungle Moonkin, ended up being like the cheating cards, the ones that let me actually recover and have some spectacular victories. So it's a very interesting deck. Druid's a very interesting class. I want to show you guys some of my more amazing games from this run because there's definitely something to learn here. But uh, on the other hand, I do also want to give you guys the disclaimer here. Going 12 wins, going 12-0, you know, a lot of that is luck. You know, if luck was not on my side in most of the games that I played, there is no way this deck would have got the 12 wins even, let alone 12-0, which it did. You know, a, a really good player is going to have an overall average of like 6, 7, maybe like 7.5 wins if they're ridiculously good or ridiculously lucky within a certain time frame. But past that, getting 12 wins, you just got to get lucky, but you got to play well as well to uh, kind of, you know, increase the frequency of that luck pushing you to that 12 win barrier. So check out the clips, a lot of lucky moments, a lot of cool moments, and a lot, a lot of cool druid play. Enjoy the clips, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, let's do druid then. You are right to await. I gotta go for board clear every time. Make sure the saber's a good card. Wrath or zombie chat, that's a tough one. Zombie so chat 79, Wrath 72. Okay. Fine. I'm not gonna argue with stats. Heart of the Wild. I have a couple beasts already, let's go with the Wild Walker. Yeah, let's go with the Squire. Swipe, nice. Bog Creeper, nice. Tiger. Not bad. Uh, Faceless Shambler and Druus, not bad. Faithless Chamber is 49. Uh, I guess that is bad. Genie, it is. Commander. Let's go with the Raven Idol. Thanks for streaming so much. Oh, thank you. Uh, I do have quite a few beasts. One, two, three, three. I'm only 12 cards in. That's still pretty good. I think I will take a Knight of the Wild over a Violet Teacher. Sawgoth. Sawgoth versus Tink Master versus the Boogie Monster. Tink Master might actually be pretty decent in, uh, in Druid. Just because you you lack removals. So, Tink Master is 54. 
Boogie Monster is 46. Sawgoth is probably a little bit higher than that. Yeah, it's higher than that. Let's do Sawgoth then. Let's do Bog Creeper. That's a really good three, so I have to take it. We really need threes right now. Organ. Beast and three, that's perfect. Feral Rage is very good. Um, I have enough taunts. Azure Drake is more important here. Let's get two drops, as we're lacking. Let's just have a quick beast count. One, two, three, four, five. Five beasts. I think I'd rather just get another two drop here. Another Raven Idol. And Mark of Nature is fine. North Sea Kraken. Wow, Bog Creeper, so many. Nah, Swipe's still the card to take, apparently. Beasts, more beasts, more swipes. Well, dude, I have three swipes, actually. There's there's actually some reason to take the Jungle Moonkin. It's kind of interesting, actually. Am I getting much value for the Sun Fury? 12-0? Nah. My best Druid run ever is 9 wins. My average is like 7.5. Which means I always get like seven to eight wins with Druid. Um, it's so hard to get to get the distance with the Druid. Just can't do it. Uh, Jungle Moonkins 51. Sun Fury is 58. Can't imagine recycles very high. It's 61. Wow. I'm gonna go for Jungle Moonkin though. Sawgoth is not the type of legendary that you can keep in your opening hand, unfortunately. Against Druid, you can go all in so safely. It's quite safe. Another night on the prowl. This really sucks if he has Spork Lightning, by the way. Totem, totem. If you don't have a board clear and you're making plays like that, you're not going to win. But, uh, yeah, he might have a board clear, who knows. This is no place for mortals. Ooh, that's a good one. for null space. <sighs> I'd really love to clock him in the face for nine, but... <sighs> Turn six, boys. I think in one to two years, Arena will be a world where you literally play around zero cards ever. So, that sucks. You already do that? Uh, yeah, it's true. I already do that in a lot of games, but um, I certainly play around some cards. It's pretty bad. What do I think should happen? I don't know. Maybe there should be a bigger weight on new sets than there is right now, and maybe there should be a negative weight on older sets. Don't worry, loves. The cavalry's here. Oh. 
action class. Tell me as SI7. Fuck me. <sighs> yeah, I can't really beat Sap very well, guys. Let's just hope he doesn't have another Sap or assassinate. Answer the call of the light. Okay, that's good. Let's hope it's not humility then. Wow, that's actually a really good one. Yeah, this is a pretty nuts rogue deck, but at 6-0, it's gonna be... Draws another crazy card. What's he got? Oh, he has another one of those crazy cards. Is that Betrayal? Okay. Alright. So, I need Swipe. 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 Seems good. Swipe's lethal. Ah, what's that? This sets up lethal. Six damage and one draw is almost impossible, so... If I use the Feral Rage for armor, I no longer have lethal next turn. I think it's worth the risk here. Yeah, there's Leroy and there's Ragnaros. And that's... That's about the extent it goes to. It's only four? How's it four? Closest games so far have been against rogues. He might just get 9 3 on purpose so he doesn't have to play Minesweeper. Yeah, that's it. I don't think I'm gonna play Minesweeper though. Even if we get it. This is for the game. Nice. Um. We can put that on 5 health. I think that's the play. Killing spree. Yeah, if that juggle landed, I think I would have lost 100%. Just too much tempo to come back from. Do you have the 2 3 for 1? That's good. Feral Rage and a massive wall of taunts. Yeah. Surprisingly effective, right? Hmm. It's not too bad. It's better to play a taunt in front of an injured minion, so you don't want to open up with the taunt unless you have to. I don't have to, I'm at 22. That's a little bit of a problem, though. Okay, I guess I'll go with that. Lucky again! It's very important to keep hydrated in esports. <laughs> yeah. I actually heard that, um... I know it was true for, like, some of the old StarCraft players. They would practice in, like, every condition. Like, super sleepy, 
Very rested, no food, lots of food, very cold environment, very hot environment. I haven't heard of that since um, since StarCraft though. Damn. We can still lose because that card is so busted. Mm -hmm. I think I have to play it again. If he has another removal for a big card, I'm still gonna lose. That's the game, boys. Not very fair sometimes. Swipe Rage. Nah, I, I might have to use the Rage for armor. Yeah, I was winning by so much, I was just absolutely wrecking him, and it doesn't matter in the end. We definitely and absolutely lose to that. Is that two man worms in a row? I'm not sure, maybe it is. It's time for a lot of blood. I think I'm gonna need the swipe. Swipe is so much more powerful than that with spell damage on the board. And I can't use that to kill anything. <laughs> anything higher attack. This will get punished if he has a weapon with a buff and I don't get a taunt. Idle. Fine. Time waits for no one. This is no place for mortals. Okay. Save by chat. Well played. I did. Wow. <laughs> oh. The perfect curve thing mm, doesn't work against crazy mage decks that often, as opposed to every other deck. Please don't keep the five. Fine. Well, well that's probably the best draw. Yes! We got him back! <laughs> Alright. He has a 3-4 here, it's still really good. Wanted, yeah, damn. Oh, interesting. That might not be great. I'm just thinking if I should, um, because it's unlikely he would have two 3-drops. Let's do this. Yeah, 3-5 seems good. Ouch. Oh, get wrecked. Killing spree. I could have gone face there, but it's a risky play because uh, turn four is fireballs, polymorphs, and then he could conquer the board with that. So I don't think it's it's worth it. Not at 11-0. If it was like 0-0, I would have went face. So lucky. Yeah, we're about to get 12-0. That only happens when you get so lucky. That's how it works. Oh, 
Yeah, if he has Flame Cannon here, he's gonna be in good shape, actually. Snipe and Mage. Well, hopefully I outdraw him, like I have been so far. Mm. Snipe and Control Mages are uh, probably the most fearsome opponents. All the answers he has. Like Alright, well, I have another good answer. Let's go. Swipe three. Surprise he didn't trade. Wanted, dead or alive. This helps me a lot. None of my board clears work. Doesn't seem, to, doesn't seem to be worth trading. And I'm not gonna get good value for duplicate most other times. Pretty crappy. Oh, the RNG boys. Why is Whirlwind still shiny? Uh, it's bugged a little bit. Uh oh. That's a good draw. Okay. This is scary. If he doesn't draw anything, I, I, I win 100% here. If he just draws a blank, which is probably like a good... Yeah, that's a blank. 12-0, boys. Oh, man. RNG to win. I'm gonna give him the well played. Must feel bad. Losing that 11-0. When you get so unlucky, but feels pretty good on the other side of that. Wow. I think I've only done 12 0 with Druid one time. So that is not a that is not a common thing. Well, two times now. Alright, let's get an extra pack. Bad. 